Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 Xbox Live Arcade Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Mutant Storm, which if you've never played it before, it's very similar to Geometry Wars, except it's got a lot more depth to it. At the start you've got things like help, options, achievements, you can play on two player if you want to, and it is co-op. You can actually choose the colour of your ship as well, so it makes it easier to distinguish between co-op mode. Um, you've then got Adventure Mode and Tally Mode. Tally Mode is basically a lot of challenges where you just go on, you play the same style of game, but you do certain challenges like defeat all the enemies in a certain time and get so many points. You've then got the Adventure Mode. There's loads of different belts in the game, but you have to unlock them and they're basically different skill levels, so black being the hardest and white being the easiest. You've then got 100 levels overall and every 10 levels you actually get the chance to, uh, well, you get a kind of checkpoint type thing, so if you die you can just go on uh, and start from a certain level. Unfortunately though you can't start from say like level 85 or anything like that, it's every 10 as I say, so you do have to replay the last 10 over and over again if you manage to die on the boss. But it's basically a shoot mob as I say, like Geometry Wars, so you're trapped in a room and you just go around and you just shoot things, you can, although this time you can actually get proper power up so you can get different style of weapons, there's bosses every now and then, or at least very hard enemies which can be like bosses, and you've got a time limit as well to beat them in. So. It's uh, as I say though, it's still a shooter, so there's not much to talk about, and uh, pretty much that's everything to say. Although you might have noticed the bar that keeps swapping from the top and the bottom, that is basically a multiplier. Every time you kill a certain amount of enemies, you gain a multiplier, and that means you can get better scores. You've also got bombs, but rather than killing everyone in a like, well, killing everyone on the screen, the bombs on this just kill things in a certain radius. You've also got uh, special little things like these crystal things here where if all of them survive by the end you get a bonus which is pretty cool but uh, once again the bombs as you may have noticed don't actually give you any points for killing the enemies so they're basically a last resort thing use them if you'd rather lose a life than gain points but uh, that's pretty much everything there is to see it um, so if you've enjoyed this review then please subscribe to my videos there'll be plenty more on the way however if you'd like to chat with me about anything you've seen in this video then please head over to vc-forums.com this has been Damon212 signing off